We are back in the garage with the part that I am, well, what I'm working on now. Um, this is the under panel tray for a Honda Civic 2013, I think. Uh, not the SI, but I think it would be the same thing. This is the under tray. His car is so low to the point that this scrapes off. There's a reason why this is here, and there's a reason why that car is too freaking low. And it is pouring now in California. So, I I think I'm going to try to salvage the actual aluminum pieces. I think this is aluminum anyways. This one is a bit mangled, but it'll take a little bit of time to save it. And I'm going to make this into a two-piece, see where the seam is, make... And it's already bent that way, naturally. So I'm gonna make it be a two-piece. There's enough bolt holes to hold this. There's one, two, three, four, five, six on this side. Then there's one, two, three, four, five, six on this one. So it should be strong enough, even as a two-piece. And if needed, just JB weld or duct tape it together. Because all he needs is to have this sit higher because this depth is about an inch i can make it flush but that only gives him about an inch of clearance so hopefully that is enough for this to actually work so his car doesn't get waterlogged anymore because his uh his intake sits down in the wheel well so low that when it rains like how it is his car bogs it is too low. Like, there are limits to these things, and he is beyond that limit, but we're gonna see if what we can do. I'll have to text him to see if he wants, if he's okay with the three piece design, a two piece design, or if he wants it to be one solid piece, because it does complicate things if he wants it one solid piece, but makes it easier. Uh, I just have to line everything up and drill my holes appropriately. I'm probably going to make this out of aluminum, so it is weather protected, won't rust, and decently strong. If I was to make it out of steel, it would be one heavier, would rust and corrode, and has the risk of really screwing up if it were to fail. So, have to see what he's okay with, because aluminum is pretty weak if hit hard enough, and he hit he hits potholes pretty hard, but yeah. I also hope that the Celica doesn't become a pool anymore because my trunk doesn't close properly. Okay, so a quick little wardrobe change because I actually like that shirt because I just got it. Like Today's Thursday, I think. So I got it two days ago, <laughs> I think. <laughs> um, I'll actually show you the cars right now. So we got the Celica, which has the uh, fuck the beach housing microfiber trying to cover up the gaps, as you can see. And we got the Mazda all the way out there because you know it's on the street. And actually, I have a video of how close I am to that curb. I'm really close. Everyone I talk to laughs and says they're both on my side. I'm starting to think that they're right. Uh, that car is going to get a custom exhaust pretty soon. I just need to go back out to Napa so I can use his welder. But the issue is I'm going to have to drop the entire exhaust because... Or I'm going to have to weld on a flange to the existing cat. Which, either way, I'm going to have to weld it under the car. Which I'm going to do before I lower it. Because if I lower it now... I'm going to have to deal with the struggle that that car, this Civic, gave us. Oh, by the way, if you were wondering how large this plate is, like how large of this, how large this thing actually is, the skid plate, I do believe this car is a 2013 Honda Civic, uh, the two-door variant. The the width of it, like side to side, also known as this to this, is 30 four inches and the length which is this side to this side is 44 inches from the widest parts it is 
those even numbers these numbers are if i was to put it into two places the 17 is from this inner edge to this edge and the 27 and a quarter is right here it's right here uh the length of it is if i was to get an exact i don't know how this happened it's from a bend so that number is wrong so just scratch it out <laughs> um this 34 and a half is adding a quarter inch to one to each side and this 44 is adding a quarter inch to each side as well so that was just if i was to make a mistake however i don't think i would make a mistake because i am taking every precaution that i can to measure this out properly and do the numbers right <laughs> um i did clean up the carbon de the oil deposit from this side which was a pain but yeah i did get the okay to cut up this good plate which does kind of sadden me because it is a hundred and sixty dollars good plate i think if you were to buy it uh new which even buying it used from like a parts yard is like 50 bucks i don't know how i'm gonna do these because part of me wants to make those plates removable because i don't know where like his oil pan and that stuff i mean like, his oil drain plug or his oil filter are and I don't know if these are actually making it gonna be make it, gonna make it easier for him or not. So I'm gonna see what I can do for that, and give him the bad news of it's gonna be about sixty bucks to make a low profile one, and there's no guarantee for it to fit one to one. So yeah. Also, these tack rivets are really meant to be here for the lengthwise structural support because. As it sits it is too long and will flex but it also needs a center cross member which it doesn't have that is where i think the flexing comes from and why my measurements are kind of iffy so um this is why we make stuff outside the car but it sucks because without having the car in here i can't make the part and fit it as i'm making it but that is okay because it just has to fit as he says his words not mine all right since the last time you saw i have um removed the aluminum i think or zinc plates and have that out i have removed the clip hangers i've gotten the okay to cut the skid plate or under tray whatever you want to call it so i'm going to start cutting to see how much clearance i can lower it by because right now it sits about an inch and a quarter inch and a half depending on where you measure it at from like the bottom from the floor <clears throat> the reason why i have this is because i need to make sure that the holes still line up i did not take plastic welding i took welding in high school but plastic welding is should be easier however i don't have a plastic welder i do have other ways to do this but let's hope we don't have to deal with that stuff and hope that I can just cut off enough material for this to just fit. So from the time lapse, um, cutting it didn't do much except for change the lines of what it is. So that was a big waste of time. Um, but in black, I have it drawn out, uh, which was the last thing I did. I have it drawn out as to what the final line lineage would be. If I was to cut the stands, if you will, it would drop it about an inch and a quarter. I'm only going to do about an inch drop if I, when I talk to him, see what he wants because I don't know how much lower he wants to go because even though he is at a painfully, painfully low height, he wants to go lower. So I have, I'm going to be real with him and be like, yeah, you're only going to get this much. And I don't know what these two aluminum shields or zinc shields cover, so... 
I don't know if they're covering, like, I think I said this already, his oil filter or his drain plug. So if they do that, I'd want to make them removable so it's at least easier for him. But I'm not going to be able to use these original ones because they're held on via these plastic stands, these plastic standoffs. But I might be able to salvage something and make them be held on by clips or pins. But there's no guarantee as to what they can be held on by. Also, the outer edges of the plates, these parts, they're very flimsy. This side is not nearly as flimsy as this side, as that side, but this side still needs a cross member in my opinion, so that it's stronger. But it would have to be very small and hide under this. And this side, as it sits already, this is pretty flimsy and it has no cross member support so i think that there's something here because i don't know which side is the front or which side is the rear because he didn't have this installed in the car so i have no idea how this is supposed to look but i know where everything lines up so that's a good thing i guess